All right, so this is my uh, Honda HRX 217 HXA push mower. This is the one with the uh, plastic deck. And, you know, whenever you buy one of these things, I didn't buy it new. I actually got this, like, I'm the, I think I'm the third owner on this one. It was like an 09. And then I got it from a buddy who went from, uh, like, a gas-powered mower. And then he, he got a small yard and went to an electric mower and apparently never, never uh, turned back. So, anyway, so I got this thing from him. And you know the, the thing is about these plastic decks whenever you go and buy them they talk about how it's got like a lifetime warranty or whatever but i haven't had any luck with that that warranty this thing's broken in about five different places i got a big hole in both sides and then i got other pieces that are just chipping out and then there's another big hole in the back back there and uh, whenever you contact uh, honda about it, it does, they don't recover any impact damage and i mean well what what else are you gonna how else are you gonna you know damage it i mean you know it kicks up a rock or whatever and it pokes a hole in the side so anyway that's that's a warranty in name only but i guess it does you know cut a little bit of weight out of it but i'm not sure that it's worth it but anyway i own the sucker so i keep it running um and i mean i've i've fixed the thing a couple times you know if um you know before i even had it at uh uh you know one of the uh, the rockers i guess one of the valves kind of got uh, sticky and one of the rockers like kinked over so um, so the guy I got it from, he, he put some rockers in it and I hit, the, the thing is, it's got this, uh, this is one of those ones that the, uh, where it's rather than like when you let go of it, rather than the thing stop, the, it's just got a clutch in it. Uh, so the blade stops, which is really, really nice. But, uh, the problem is, is that, you know, all this mechanism and stuff inside of here makes the crankshaft really long. And, uh, one day I was just mowing along and I don't know what, I, I have no idea what I hit. And I bent the crankshaft on it, so I got a crankshaft, and I had to end up getting a cam, uh, cam gear, and everything for it because apparently they went from a plastic to a metal cam gear. So I had to, and I got it from like the internet or whatever, and it was it wasn't very expensive. Um, it was like 50, 60 bucks, and when I had the thing apart, it was like brand new on the inside. So um, you know, even even being abused and having you know a couple different owners or whatever wasn't too bad, but. You know, apart from the really long crankshaft and the plastic plastic deck, I really haven't had a whole lot of trouble out of it uh, until the uh, the transmission has recently quit. And it still works a little bit, uh, but uh, you know it's starting to pull a little slower and slower. And if you ask the internet, it talks about how you know this is a legitimate hydrostatic transmission inside of these things, and it's only got a couple of tablespoons of of oil in it. And when it starts to leak, it doesn't take long for the thing to completely leak dry, and then you know then it's just the guts like sort of wear out on it and i guess if you get it early enough you can put a set of seals in it because it just seals at least around the uh, the two axle seals but uh anyway i, I gotta mow with this thing because i mean i have a an acre and some change worth of uh manicured sod that i inherited with this house so i got to keep it going if i go and sell this house that, that sod has to be right you know because it pretty much makes you know makes the neighbor you can see this is on a corner and it makes the neighborhood but uh, so anyway, uh, the uh, the guys up there at the Ace Hardware, which is my Honda dealer, um, they felt bad for me, and I got a transmission. It was two hundred bucks for the transmission, and the internet says, like I said, you could you can do work to these, but I don't know. That I kind of want to take it apart and see what's in there, um, and I also have another one of these. Um, not you know, it's not the nicer model. It's the one with the steel deck, and it just has like a regular old three speed, and uh, apparently they got the same wheelbase. So I'm I'm thinking that maybe I could possibly. If I do get this one back together and get it running, I could probably put it on that other mower. But uh, yeah, so anyway, they sold me a brand new transmission. <sighs> um, I never did bother to get the service manual for this thing, so I'm just gonna kind of figure it out. And uh, yeah, so hopefully the mosquitoes don't carry me away while I'm doing it, because I gotta get back to mowing. This grass is like, you know, the the place came with sod, you know, I mean, like, like whenever I bought the house, it came with this, you know, this, uh, Bermuda grass and you're supposed to cut that stuff between like between one and two inches you know depending on what what the weather is and who you ask but um I cut it at four and a half inches it's just because that's the highest this thing will go if it would go any higher than that that's what I'd cut it because I, I mean I don't really it doesn't it seems to be happier the longer you leave it so anyway but it's been like three weeks um and it just rained so like my, my two dogs, they look like uh, like lions, like roaming through the savanna right there and parting the grass as they go. So I got to get this thing going. So um, yeah, let's take it apart and see if uh, I can figure out how to get back together. And here's that transmission. 
It's like it's a legitimate hydrostatic transmission. When the guy sold it to me, I paid. You know, I ended up ended up paying two hundred bucks for it. You know, because he was like, "Oh yeah, it comes with the cable and the in the in the wheel and everything," and it didn't. So um, it, it, it's whatever. It's too, you know, I could buy another mower. I could probably buy a you know an entire mower for that two hundred bucks that they got. Two hundred ten bucks for that transmission, but. I don't know. I spent so much time. I'm, you know, it's sunk cost right now. But the the reason I really like it is because it mows so fast that I mean, I almost have to jog to keep up with it. So. Yeah. I wonder how much this stupid thing does weigh. I got 80, yeah, like 80, well, no, hold on, that's 94. That's 94 pounds. This sucker weighs 94 pounds. Uh, convert that to metric is 94 divided by 2 would be 47 minus 10%, 47 minus 4.7, 43, 42, and 42.3 kg. All right. So yeah, it ain't light. All right, I wonder how you get this thing apart. It'll work. Should just come right out, right? 15. And an eight and a pair of snap ring pliers. Good things. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ah, it's not going to be like that, is it? Oh, come on. Ah, oh, no kidding. It's broke in half, isn't it? I got another crack right there. That stupid things broke right there where it comes through. Snap ring holding that stinking on thing on there. Should be a fourteen. Just need a twelve, and we'll get there. Somebody remind me to put NICs on those.
that uh, belt's rubbing through that um, through that control cable there. I'm glad I caught that before it was a thing. Oh, the whole thing is an idler. I get it. That's long gone. <sighs> Where the hell did that Woodruff key just go? Well, things have suddenly taken a turn for the worse. I guess it's not keyed on there, huh? These holes that this bracket attaches to are not tapped. It just has some kind of weird serration on the end of the... I'm sure it mentions that in the service manual that I don't have. That's gonna go, yep, it's gotta be. I'm missing a piece, aren't I? No, that's it. That's that. Yeah, I gotta go in here. All right, well, here's where I'm going to leave it for today because I, I, I've been, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how I, my, uh, how my snap ring plier situation got this bad, but I need, I got to get some snap ring pliers. Um, and, and I, when I was figuring that out, I sprung all these little uh, 12 millimeter circlips here, so I'm going to have to get some more of those. I'm not putting those back in it. I did get some terrible news here on this, uh, on this deck here. This deck is like broke right there. I mean, it's not supposed to be. This deck's not supposed to be split right there. So anyway, I'm, I guess I'll have to see if I can find another deck at some point. But this thing's going to be coming apart 
not before too long. So I got that and I got this where it rubbed through this cable right here. I had to re refine that cable there. So I got to get some parts. Uh, so I need a pair of snap ring pliers. Um, those sir clips. And this, everything else looks like it was in okay shape. Um, yeah, the, bear, the bushing in that adjustment mechanism right there is, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's like too short or something. But the other thing that surprised me, which, you know, I've never taken one of these things apart before, but I've taken apart Hondas before, and Hondas are usually really good about, you know, being repaired. And, and this right here was okay, except for that. It kind of vexed me there on getting this thing here. What it ended up was is, is one of these these uh, repair plates that I stuck inside of here. I uh, want to put the screw in there to... Uh, because there's just a piece of metal right there where this discharge chute is because there's a huge hole in there um and uh, one of these screws that i put in there to hold it in i had to saw this thing off but it was just barely nicking into that other piece of that one keeping it from pulling down so once i got that figured out and got it kind of around there it, it sort of came right apart but i mean i i don't know i'm gonna have to try to find another deck at some point because that thing's broke there it's broke there it's broke there it's broke it's broke everywhere i don't know maybe they'll cut me a deal on it since they screwed me on the warranty there but i mean everywhere you look there's a piece missing there's piece chunks missing here and chunks and pieces missing there and then i, I don't know it kind of looks like there's supposed to be something there too to keep that i can't imagine why that uh why that clutch cable is like that but uh um it came apart pretty easy so yeah i'll uh, get some parts from the dealer and I, also these springs look like they're kind of squished more than they're supposed to be so i'll find out if that's supposed to be that way and maybe get some new ones they said they said they have these things in there all they're always working on them so um yeah if it uh if it didn't most so if it didn't it didn't do such a great job of mowing if it weren't so quick and and if it didn't do such a great job and if it weren't so good on gas i can mow almost an acre and a half on one tank of gas so um so if it weren't for those things i'd just toss it but uh i got this other one this uh, like an hr maybe a I don't know, find out what model number that stinker is. Because that one's just got that off the shelf. I forget who makes it. Some transmission company. And they make it. And this one's a... Uh, this is a HRR. Yeah, it says HRR. But it's just like a regular old blade stop. And uh, But it looks like everything is in there pretty much the same way. So I might end up just taking that other thing there. Get some wheels for this thing. And, and then see if I can't just make this sucker work. But it's missing some guards and stuff too. So, yeah, that one there apparently. Oh, they broke that that stinker. That, that thing there's broken half. But it doesn't. This one's not in great shape either. The engine runs great, but it pulls. It starts on the first pull, but uh, everything else is broke. We're gonna turn that into a robot. All right, so uh, I got back from the Honda, the uh, well, the Ace Hardware, this is my Honda parts dealer, and and I started, you know, I, I walked in there and I looked around like the hardware section and was looking for the 12 millimeter circ clip, and they didn't have them; they only had inch. And I've got like four or five packages of uh, of uh, inch assortments in there. I wouldn't have needed those anyway. So went over there to the parts counter, started describing what I needed. He's like, "What are you working on?" I told him. And he remembered, uh, remembered that I just bought that transmission and he started, he just like reached down right where he was at, like, and just started pulling parts out of a box. And he was like, yeah, no, I got this and I got this and you're going to need these things over here. And, uh, and he told me some interesting things. Uh, well, first off the, you know, uh, when I'm deep into this, I mean, I, I, after seeing these things, I know I've got another set just like him. I don't think they're Craftsman though. I think they may be like gear wrench or something. And then, um, these sir clips right here, they were really not expensive at all. Um. They were 59 cents a piece for the sir clips, and then uh, uh, he told me I also should get the the springs. Uh, he said sometimes they'll uh, they'll wear through and then break in half. Um, so I went ahead and got those, and I went ahead and got the keys too, because I thought last night I thought I dropped one of them, and once I dropped them, they were going to be you know gone forever. So the uh, the springs are 59 cents a piece, and then the keys they were 99 cents a piece. So I'm like two. 
for like five and a half bucks deep in this thing. Uh, the other thing the guy told me was uh, uh, that these things right here will eventually wear out, um, but uh, it, not for as old as this thing is. And also these little guys right here are like some kind of a crazy, uh, um, like a like a hardened washer or something, a whole lot of guts inside this thing. So uh, he didn't want me to replace these. He just said clean these up real good because they're like a matched pair to these. Um, but yeah, I don't, that doesn't seem... I don't know. The other thing that was interesting, he told me, I asked him what kind of grease to use, if there was like something special or whatever. He said, don't use grease on them, just like spray a little WD-40 in there. Eh, I'm going to go ahead and grease them. So, uh, there's a dust seal inside of here that, uh, I guess it's, I don't know if it disintegrated or what, um, but he said, don't put that dust seal in there, because what happens is it'll start chewing. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh... Okay, so that's exactly what happened to this. He said that dust seal will come loose and then just chew into that seal on the side. And he said that's why the, uh, the grease uh, leaks out of them. And absolutely, this uh, dust seal just disintegrated. And that's, yeah, you can see where it's like been chewing into that shaft over the course of time. But he said, yeah, don't put those dust seals in there. He said, just let it go bad or put a little grease in there or something. So yeah, I won't put those guys back in there. That's no shit. Um, but apparently I can get these seals. He has those too. Uh, and, uh, they even have a number on them. So, and they're like, like three or four bucks a piece. So I put the two seals in there and he said, it's, it, it may or may not come back. Um, so I might just, uh, I might just, uh, get some, uh, if I have to take it apart, I'm going to probably clean it out pretty good too. So this is like a, a, a fill cap. So he said, pull the fill cap off. Um, I'll fill it full of oil and see if I can't see if it works. And if so, I'll just uh, get the two seals and the grease and stuff for it, and or the hydrostatic fluid, clean it out real good, and put it on another mower. But uh, I mean, that don't that don't feel great. But yeah, it looks it looks like uh, they they changed the design a little bit too, because this there's no like this one sticks out. Yeah, this one sticks out a little further on that snout, and then uh, there's like a, like a, like a guard or something inside there. This one doesn't have it; it's just open. But this seal's fine. It's this inner inboard one here that got chewed up by that uh, by that dust seal. But it was pulling; it still worked uh, when I when I quit. I was just like it, it kept getting slower and slower because I usually have to run to keep up with it, and it was getting really slow. So whenever I quit, I started uh, asking the internet what was going on. Um, See if like the belt was bad or something. Turns out, yeah, that transmission's bad, but I don't know. Still works a little bit. And worst case scenario, I could take it apart and see how it works. So let's get going. Yeah, them gears ain't great. They're only like three bucks a piece. So I'll probably swap those out whenever I swap out those wheels because they're going to need it eventually. Yeah, if you look at that washer, it's like, uh, this is uh, powder metal. You can see where it's uh, got like a, it's like a seam right there where they they, they compress it together. It's like a powder. They compress it together and then they run it through a sintering furnace. I used to work for a company that did that. Wow, that's got real ball bearings in it. That ain't great. Okay, oops. So we're going over this way, which means that this one's going to go... It's going to counter rotate, so that means this one's going to move this away. So that means that the. Alright, so. The little spot goes inward. Alright. Yeah, look at that. I can't believe you guys are going to let me use that without saying something. It's trashed. Yeah, 
Yeah, I went ahead and got these little keys because I thought I dropped one, but they're both in there, but I don't know. They look fine. Two of these have scars on them from the uh, from the where they're rubbing against the snap rings. So I'm put, trying to put those against the snap rings. Yeah, that's right. Let me stop checking that. I'm going to make it wrong. Hmm. Oops. Yep. That's what I suspected. Pretty sure these bearings aren't greasable, but I'm gonna grease them anyway. The only thing that I that uh, you know I, when I was at Ace, they had the the parts diagram and everything pulled up. And the only thing that wasn't available was this piece right here that's got the shaft and then the thing that runs down through the broke part. Because um, I had him uh, I had him look up a uh, uh, a new deck for it, you know, because we had that same warranty discussion and he, you know, yeah. But uh, I think I might actually try to see if they'll warranty this without looking at all the rest of this stuff. Um, you know, see if they're going to be any good about that. But, uh, yeah, the only thing that they don't have, they can't replace is this piece with the shafts coming out of it. But, uh, yeah, a new deck is $189. Um, and, uh, they let me have it for like 172 or something, whatever. It wasn't that bad, but apparently, uh, they come up on the internet from time to time, uh, on eBay or whatever. So, I'll just keep an eye out. Oops. Probably should put that on the other way, huh? I feel like I'm missing something there. Alright. I know these aren't greasable bearings, but I ain't gonna hurt nothing to put grease in there. That seems right. Um, they didn't have this cable in stock. They had this one, but they didn't have this one. So I'll just wait until next time it blows up and then replace it. The little spot on there it goes inwards. You saw me do that. 
I didn't say nothing. Okay, so on that side the spot goes in, on this side the spot goes out. Where the hell is it? Oh, that's not where that goes. Where is it? Who the help? Where the hell does that washer go? has to go under here because it's got a ton of wear on it. I don't remember where the hell that washer goes. Go on top? I don't know. Oops. I think what happened is I got the the cog from this side and that side swapped so they're sitting at a different place so this one's on like new um, new gear because it's worn on the one side but not on the other side. But this gear is like dead flat against the back side of it. So I think that gear is actually just riding on half that tooth. I ain't that worried about it. I'm going to I'm gonna have to put a couple of wheels on this thing before too long. So I'll, I'll swap out the, the rollers um, or the, the little the pinion gear. Um, and I'll swap out the, uh, I'll just get another set of those keys and springs. So it's probably gonna, I don't need it to last forever. Just rested this year. Well, that explains that. That cable's supposed, there's like a little pathway right here that it wasn't in. So apparently whenever I took the engine off it last time when I put it back together, I didn't get that cable on the proper side of that thing why it's chewed through. But, uh, um, but uh, I'll swap that out whenever I get a new deck. Oh yeah, that's where that goes. That's right, and that goes and has to go in first. But where's the damn flipper flap? There it is. There it is.
People are so angry. Pulling to the left. One wheel bolts, I guess that's it. That ought to do it. All right, so yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, I had a note a bit. It had uh, it had that big crack in the top of it. I wouldn't even have done it because between the two hundred dollars for the for the transmission and then another you know two hundred bucks for the deck. I mean, shoot up four hundred dollars into a seven hundred dollar mower, and they're on sale right now for like six fifty. So like I'm two hundred fifty bucks away from a brand new one, but. I, I gotta check and see if they got one that has the blade stop that doesn't. Uh, that's not made out of plastic because. Yeah, I just I just run over stuff, you know. It's I don't know. It's kind of my policy, you know. If you leave stuff in the yard, it's just you know something that you just didn't care about at all. So you know, whatever. So um, yeah, which I mean, it mows great. It's I, that right there is probably a third of an acre, and I did it in I don't know what time it is. Probably twenty twenty five minutes, but maybe even less than that. I have to look see what the thing is, but. Um, yeah, there's another crack on the top right here. I noticed when I was cutting the grass. It's right here where the... Uh, I'm not sure if that thing does anything, but that's the adjuster where you... You know, discharges out the back when there's no bag in it or if, if you don't have it on mulch. But if you have it... Uh, but this little thing right here is broke. This, this doesn't even look like it could be under any stress. But... Well, there's another big crack forming right there. Yeah. Um, don't buy a plastic lawnmower. <laughs>